Hey, what's up YouTube? How you guys doing? So today I have the SEC E9 CNC machine right here. Okay. This machine is good to do um, all lost keys. Okay. All we need to do is get the key code and enter it in here. There's a lot of things this machine could do. Okay. I could do automobile keys, motorcycles, standard keys, dimple, tubular. All you got to do is just change the clamp. So right now I have the automobile clamp on. Okay. So right here, I have a Chevrolet ignition, okay? Now let's say you lost the keys for this Chevrolet ignition, okay? There's a blank key, brand new. I have the, I have another blank in there, that's a test key, okay? So we're gonna take the ignition off the Chevrolet, okay? And the key code should be written right there. Okay, let me zoom in. So 2155, it says 2155B, okay? So we're gonna go to automobile. We're gonna go to Chevrolet. Excuse me. Chevrolet. Now let's say there's an avalanche. Okay. Make sure you um you check what key it is right there. It tells you. So this is a B11. So we're gonna go to code. Okay. And we're gonna enter the code up here. Now we're not gonna put the B at the end, so we're just gonna put the numbers two, one, five, five. Okay, that's four numbers. Okay, there could be a B in the beginning or the end. Just put in the numbers. Okay. Now we're gonna put search, and that's our bidding number that our machine gives us with the key code, and that's our key that we we need to cut. So we have the new key in there, and we have our key code. We put our key code. We got our bidding number. So now we're gonna go to cut. Okay, now right here it's telling us where the key needs to be positioned on top of the clamp before the third line. Okay, so the, on top and before the third line. The high security keys go on the bottom, okay? So I'll show you that in a bit. So it says pass one, cut, and then regular cut. So we're just gonna go to cut. It says clean all the groups, clean all the chips off the group. So we did that. And now it's gonna cut our key, okay? Key cutting is now in process. That's how we do our all lost keys. Now, if the key fell off like that, go ahead and just emergency stop, okay? Obviously, I didn't tighten it good enough. Okay. So, make sure you tighten it really good. Okay. So, like I said, these keys go up here. And you gotta tighten it really good, okay? Really good, So, or else it's gonna do that and then you're gonna have to abort the process. So this goes really tight, okay. Now, we have right here, Honda keys, okay? So now let's say you lost your key for your Honda. You're gonna go inside your car and now most Hondas have these, okay? If you don't have the key code, you can order it off magickeycode.com, okay? But mostly every Honda should have this in their car. Now this thing goes right where the trunk is at, where you lift up the trunk and the gas on the floor. This little lock cylinder is on the floor. So you go ahead and pop this out with a screwdriver. Okay. You pop it out with a screwdriver and the key code should be on here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put in our new key for a Honda. Now, like I said, this, the high security keys go on the bottom. Okay. They go on the bottom like this before the third little line. So we're gonna go back, okay. Now we're gonna go to Honda because we need all lost keys for Honda because we lost our key. And we already have our new key inside here. So let's say this is an Accord. Okay, right here it tells us what, what kind of key it is. These are the high security. These are the older models, older keys, double-sided. So let's say it's a 2006. 
Now we're only gonna read the, the last four numbers on here, okay? So the, the last four numbers should be on here somewhere, right? So we're gonna go to code. We're gonna enter our numbers right here. Okay. Code is N zero nine one. That's our code that we found right here. Our last four, okay? Last four. So we're gonna press search. And bammo, that's our bidding number that that's our, our our key cut right there. You see? So now it's telling us that our key is this one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and cut the key and press cut, okay? And it's gonna start cutting our key. So it cut our key, as you guys can see, okay. So this is our key that we cut same key okay now try it out in your little lock cylinder on your door see if it works okay bear with me here you guys so we stick in our key to test it out see if it works as you guys can see it turns in there so that's how you get your key code for honda Okay, so this is gonna be where the gas lever is at in the bottom of, of the, when you open the door, where the trunk latches at, that's gonna be on the floor. You pop it out and you read the last four, okay? You just enter it on your SC9. Now I'm gonna decode this Honda key that I have in there, okay? So we press the code, make sure it's on the third line. Click on the screen. It's actually showing you which position the key is at, okay? So we're on the third line, and we're gonna go the coil. And right now I'm decoding the key, which is the high security key. So if I need to make a copy for a customer, okay. And then we'll wait until it's done. If, if the key is not placed in property, the machine will not read it. And then we have our code right there. So we have our code right here. Now we can duplicate a new copy for the customer. All you do is get your blank key, put it inside. Okay. Third line, remember. And now you gotta do is press cut. Okay, it's gonna tell you everything, whatever. So we're gonna press the bottom one, not pass one, not second cut, just cut. Okay, and now it's gonna cut the key, all right? So it's really not gonna cut the key because it's the same code it has, but it just shows you, as soon as you put your new key in there, everything's gonna start working. Start cutting it up. It's gonna tell you right here how, what the process is, how much percent it is. Okay, so right now it's supposedly cutting the key. Now, for Toyota, okay? So we have some Toyota blank keys and we need to get our code. Now for Toyota, in order to get the code, we gotta go to the car, open the door. And now on the side of the door where you open your car, there's gonna be a little a little plug. You take out the black plug, you stick your, your T25, okay? You take that little screw off and then you're gonna pop out the, the the door, okay, the door lock, you're gonna pop it out for the door. Now, every Toyota should be like that. They should have the code on the door, okay? So that's where we get it from. We just need the T25. Unplug that screw on the side of the door and read our code, okay? Okay, so after we took off our, our door lock from our Toyota, uh, we already put our new key inside the machine. So we're gonna go to automobile. We're gonna go to Toyota. Okay. So now we're gonna put 2009 because it's 2009. And then we're gonna enter the code, okay? So code. Six, two, four, 
So that's our bidding number right there. Those are the cuts. And that's our key. And then we just cut. Cut, okay? And then we test out our key on the door lock, see if it works. And that's how we get the the key code for the Toyota. Let me get key, okay? So let's say our lock cylinder doesn't have a key code on there. Um, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Take it out, okay? The cylinder lock should be pointing like this with the keyhole entrance on the left, okay? Just like this, okay? Now, inside right here, there are pins, okay? And on every pin, there should be a number, okay? When you take it out, the pins are on the number. So you're gonna get your needle nose, Take out the first one on the left. We're gonna go to input, okay? And then let's say it's a one, okay? So we're gonna put one. Now we're gonna take out the next one. Let's say it's a two, okay? And then we're gonna pull out the next one. So from left to right, okay? Three, so, and so forth, okay? One, two, three. Okay? So right after you took off all the pins and you put all the numbers on here, we're gonna press okay. And then the number should be the same for the other side, okay? So that's how we get our key. If it doesn't have the key code on here, okay? So the key has to be pointing that way. And the lock has to be like this, okay? Because if you do it like this, and you read it from the left to the right, it's not going to come out the way it is. So right after you cut your key, you take it out, and you try it on your door lock, see if it works. And that's how you, and that's um, basically what I use the S E C E nine. Um, I also use this to duplicate the high security keys like the Honda ones and those are those are when I need to make a, a copy for the customer I'll um, read the code off the Honda and then I'll just put in the new key and then just program it so thank you guys for watching if this video helped you guys out make sure you please hit like and subscribe to my channel take care you guys